Ladies and gentlemen, after 1,211 days, a classic Fortnite item has made its return. The Slurp Juice is now back, and it's in the game. It's floor loot, chest loot. You can find it pretty much anywhere. Um, I'm super excited about this one for a few reasons, especially how this is gonna work with some of the existing uh, augments that we have in the game. Now, in today's update, we did not get any new augments, but... There are some new augments on the way. And I'm going to talk about them here in a second. So if you guys remember the Slurp Juice, when it first came out, it used to give you 25 health, 25 shield. But they made the change to make it more versatile and eventually ended up being 75 health and shield mixed together. Whichever one you needed first, starting with health, and then it would give you the shield afterwards. Speaking of Slurp Juice, I haven't found one yet, but hopefully I get some luck on my side. I'm able to find one. So guys, that's not the only thing we got in today's update. The Witcher is here. The Battle Pass skin. I haven't actually played the game, read the books, or watched the show, but it looks interesting. He looks really cool. He definitely fits the theme of Chapter 4 with the medieval vibes and the sword. So I'm definitely all on board for that. Okay, I want Rift Jector for one reason. I want it because I want to test the slurp juice effect with Rift Jector. When your shield breaks, you rift. And when your shield breaks on Danger Hero, you get the speed boost and the health boost. The slurp juice can give you the shield over time to keep rocking these perks, making it really hard to eliminate you if you're in a tough spot and you have the, uh, the slurp juice running. Oh, and I forgot the slurp juice are actually purple rarity. So it's going to be a little bit harder to find them because they're not going to be as common. Oh, there it is. Why does it look so small? I'm not, trying to be, I'm not trying to be sus, but why does that look so small? So we got the Slurp Juice. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make me really tanky, man. Dang, he is weak. So we didn't get new augments, but let's talk about some augments that recently got leaked. The railgun will most likely be returning, in my opinion, before the end of the season. There is a railgun augment in the game files that just grants you a railgun. That's going to be a pretty good augment, in my opinion. The railgun is hit scan. You just have to aim in the direction and it goes through a single wall. So with all the with all the different combinations of perks and augments that you can do, it, it could get a little nasty. Uh, another one is Touch of Midas. It's gonna be a perk inspired by Midas where whenever you get an elimination, you get 40 AR ammo, which is really good. And you get gold on every elimination. That's gonna be a really good way to farm gold. As you can see, I only have 100 gold because I keep spending all my gold on re-rolling augments. <laughs> it's gonna be very clutch. So some of you are wondering, when are we getting season two? Well, we're getting this update next week right uh we're also getting another update before the end of the season on march 10th but uh, epic is already play testing season two of fortnite and i'm assuming season two you know i'm popping the slurp I, I got i gotta see it i gotta see it in in action there we go there we go well i i just ripped it i wanted to pop it before i rifted but let's pop it let's see how much health it actually gives that's not at me right i was gonna say that's not at me all right if it's 75, I should end up with like 71 shield. 71, I was right. Oh my God, that guy got comboed so hard. I'm playing so well right now. <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering how to unlock uh, the Witcher, complete three bounties, activate five augments in different matches, defeat a boss, emote in the Citadel throne room, deal melee weapon damage to opponents. 500 melee weapon damage. That's really not a lot. Why did my cone place? Bro, you're gonna get us killed. That's enough. And by the way, they recently vaulted a thing called the emote controller and it was on creative maps and people had access to it and they weren't supposed to. And basically it gives you access to every single emote in Fortnite, even some unreleased ones, I'm pretty sure. And this wasn't intentional. So Epic actually hotfixed it today 
and now only people with like permissions to use that can use it so like only certain collabs and game devs can use that that emote thing oh they're trying to combo me nice nah, too solid I don't know about that one, Chief. I need to take this man out. Actually, no, I need to take this guy out. He was the one being annoying to me. These guys are all cracked. And guys, I want to give you another quick reminder. My glider is in the shop still. My full bundle's in the shop. I'm pretty sure tonight's the last night. Uh, so if you want the opportunity to get my skin, my glider, my weapon wrap, it's only going to be here until tonight. And then it's gone until it comes back in the future. It could be months probably until the next icon comes out so all right here we go what is homeboy doing good luckily he didn't see me slurp just gonna come in clutch This is a tough fight. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.